The one I'm going to welcome is a child in this house. He is our brother. He is a fellow minister. But he's is now established in UCC Rugazi. A few days he came to the office. Time has passed by. And he introduced himself to me. And he said, You are my pastor. Praise the Lord. It humbled me. I want to thank God for the grace he has given to him to minister in Lugazi. And there is something that I remember. When we were in high school, he was very Catholic. And he, would, he would be among those that would lead mass. We also had a fellowship. We told him, why don't you come and visit us? When he came, the Lord changed him. And he became born again. He has never turned back. Let's thank God for the grace he has given to him to minister in the Gazi. Let's give the Lord a hand Let me request you to lift your hands. The song says, My soul praise the Lord. And my heart worship his name. Even death could not hold him.
You have appointed for us such a time that we may be renewed. You have given us the grace in such times that we may prepare ourselves more. It's my prayer, Lord. Help all of us that you have been able to draw. And all those that have committed their hearts and their souls to seek you, O Lord. That they may finish well. Holy Spirit, speak to our hearts. We commit the next time in your hands. All the glory and honor will be yours. Christ Jesus, your Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's take our seats. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to honor the Lord this day. Charles Jude is my name. I pastor the church of UCC in Lugazi. Praise the Lord. We have so far spent there 10 years in Lugazi by the grace of God. We have seen God multiplying us. We are a church planting ministry. Uh, so far, we have planted three churches. Uh, apart from those that have begun as daughters, but we have also have branches. Uh, last year in September, we planted three, one in Matale, another in Ibuyikwe, Another one is just here in Imperial. Umako Guede to us in Bamakanis are Satu, Edimunga Lidi Namatale, Ulla Lidi Buyuque, Edaladi Wano, Imperial. And uh, we are believing God to do mighty things by His grace. To Kirizaka Tonda, Okole, into Ebikuru, Red Sachi. And Dimusadia Mufumbo, I'm a married man. My child and Yabada, you know, Kuba, Naye is a she's attending to one of our sons. My wife was supposed to be here. Uh, he's, he's undergoing a given medication. I know. I want to honor my elders, the pastors. Uh, I will not mention all of them. But let me first thank God who has enabled us to work with Pastor Bonnie all the years. Uh, we 
We used to walk with him in valleys as we skipped the trenches, but we thank the Lord for what he has now because we didn't have any car by then. Jagalokusam Katondechiwa Ola Musumba or Mukade Nelson Paul Luzinda. I want to honor the pastor and the elder Nelson Paul Luzinda. He is one of my elders and he was a director of the school in which we are studying. Highway College in the year 1995. And he is one of my elders that preached to me and I got saved. He loved me so much, however much I was very stubborn, but still in my stubbornness, he loved me because he thought I was good outwardly and yet I was another thing inside. There are so many things that I can talk about here. But Pastor Luzinda, I honor you. Mama Rose Nyanzi, Mama Vieko, Mukama Bawo Mukisa, Ababan Korea, Nyokumbaga Yangi, Omchala Namuja Wano, Twali Fene, Makere, Nemokwani Rawano, Nem Bembaga, Molinia Ria Yesu, to Akamale Miaka Makumi Abidi. Mami Rose Nyanzi, I honor you so much. She helped us so much on our wedding. We were studying with my wife at Makerere. We came here together. Then I betrothed her from here and married her off. So we are now 20 years in marriage. So we are now 20 years Mama Rose Nyanzi, I have a daughter who is a daughter. 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 Never forget people, and Mami Rosnian thought I had forgotten, but that lady worked so hard on my wedding. I'm not going to introduce all of them, but let me end with my elder, my pastor. I thank God. That elder of mine, Bishop Wamalokfa, after Bishop died. The truth is, I was troubled. God, what next? Who will be my pastor? I have now started preaching. My message has begun. I asked God that I may start with him and then continue from there. And so God brings to me back Elder and Pastor Serumaga. We used to be in the same hostel with that Elder of mine. Uh, Dr. Serumaga. Dr. Serumaga. For him, he would be dissecting his frogs and I would also be reading. He's the man I saw dissecting a, a, a frog, remove its heart, and it seems as though it has died, but then conceals it again until it is alive again. Now, just like he has told you that I was so much a strange Catholic. And I would bring fathers from old Kampala to come and lead masses in the school of elders. And I used to tell Elder Zinda that if you had your own fellowship, then you would have stopped us from coming here, we of other religions, but we also have our, our fellowship, and let's start it. And just like you see their humility, they told me, Chiriburunji, you can start yours. And so Elder Selmaga and another woman who prays from Pastor Bonnie's church, they welcomed me, me as a Catholic, to come and preach in a born again fellowship. So, 
And so I prepared my sermon from 1 Corinthians and I want to talk about divisions. Why do we have divisions? And when I went there, I didn't come back, I got saved from there. Dr. Selumaga Boba Aribolonjiko. Those of Dr. Selumaga were a little bit well off. Katinze Bage Badanga Yo e wakamu holiday. Now they would go back home in the holidays. I told you I have started preaching. Now me, I would remain behind in the holidays. Why would I remain? We are so poor that I would even not afford to get the transport to take me back. One day a young man called Okoch Kawele Okoch Opoch. Hey. Opoch. One day he came and phoned me and told me. Are you an orphan? How comes you Are you an orphan? How comes you do not go back home? That thing struck me so much. For someone to tell you that you are an orphan and yet you still have all your parents, it strikes you so much. But it struck me, though not so much, because I was used of it. Remember, I've told you I've started preaching. And my theme, I'm going so much look at how do you finish. How have you finished? So when this young man told me that I'm an orphan, I remember the sorrow in which I grew. And I came to know I became an orphan even, even when my parents are still alive. Why? The life that I grew in was a life of great distress and Let me first encourage someone here who might be called an orphan and yet your parents are still alive. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you. However much the parents are alive. But when the situations have strangled them and when people look at you, you seem to be an orphan. Don't mind. We have the father to the fatherless. We have the Lord. He is the father to the orphans. Praise the Lord. That's what the Bible tells us in Psalm 68 verse 5. He is the father to the orphans and he is the husband to the widows. Praise the Lord. This word came back to me today. Why this young man called me an orphan? And I remember the distress that we grew in. All my entire education. Pastor Semakula was here crying. Talking about his history. And I said, but if everyone would come and talk about his history. But recently someone said that Pastor Judy is so much educated, no one can even talk to him. And I was wondering, I wish this person knew what I am. I became an orphan because of the situations we are going through. My education, my education was so hard. We were so poor to the extent that the, even the poor would call us poor on the village. I remember I started working as a young boy. I think I was about six years old. My mother would prepare eggs. And when she had prepared them, when we would come back, we'd we'll take them to sell them in the bars. He would fry ginats and take the ginats and sell them. But we would sleep in a room of four by eight. We were eight people in that room. The parents were so poor. And one of the reasons why we were studying it is because we were taking care of ducks. Okay, the, 
The school fees would come from some of the ducks. Praise the Lord. I'm talking about a message of strengthening someone today. Now the ducks would also be in the same room with us. And they would put those nets on which they fry meat. Now our heads would be laid on the side where the ducks are. Now what hurts is that the, the, the ducks are not given pampas. Now how we would cover ourselves by that time we had some sacks. I was a short young boy. Now they would get a sack and the sack would act as a blanket. You would put yourself in the sack and cover yourself and sleep. But of course time would come and the sacks or the blankets would be off your heads and by morning the ducks have done something terrible. Now when this one calls me an orphan praise the Lord in those years how have I started up to a level? No one of my parents get, go to know where I started from from my second year. Not my parent, neither my siblings knew where I was studying from. Though they were the, even the one who was teaching me. Praise Praise the, Lord. Lord. the one who was taking care of my school. He was my teacher. He started on me when I was in P5. And he loved me. And he taught me in P7. That is the man that held my hand. And told me. I studied a level from Chiboga. The villagers are deep there whose names are very hard. I salute all of you of Chiboga. Okay, the place is called Muwanga. The names of those villages are too hard and it was in those villages where I started from. Now after my senior four, this man told me, Jude, you have gone through troubles. If you get a first grade, I'm going to bring you to Kampala. I will teach you from there. I said, God help me. And God helped me. By the time the results of senior four came back, in the school where I was, I was number one. And I had got a first grade. Praise the Lord. And I said, I'm going to Kampala. Kampala. And then I entered Kampala. In the Yana, so a man held my hand and taught me from Kampala and brought me to Pastor Luzinda to study. But he would give you 5,000 the entire holiday. And yet Elder Luzinda would chase us from the dormitories telling us not to remain in his dormitories. But I would beseech him and tell them I even don't have transport to take me back to Mitiana. And that's when that young man told me it seems you are an orphan. I struggled so much. I remember I started digging for people's plantations when I was still in P6. Those brooms that you used to sweep, we sold them by that time. I used to make these mingling sticks and I would sell them. I used to make these baskets and I would sell them. So that I can sustain myself. I started putting on shoes when I was in senior one. It was called Daron. Praise the Lord. The first trouser that I put on was for my sister. And yet it was a female trouser. I don't know what I gave to her and she allowed me and gave it to me. Now brethren, Jesus has taken us from somewhere. I've said Jesus is taking us from somewhere. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus is taking us from somewhere. And I want to tell you he as well knows you. Amen. 
Now the life that I've gone through I want to encourage someone here they called me an orphan and yet my parents were still alive the parents died last year all of them died within an interval of two weeks weeks in two weeks and I buried all of them praise the Lord but they called me an orphan when they were still alive because of the situation but because Jesus is merciful now when you see Pastor Luchamus today and you say oh how educated he is those people cannot be cancelled no it has been God I have said it has been God it has been the Lord. By the way, you know, and this disturbed me so much. You could be there with someone and the situation you're going through. The situation in which you were born. All the affliction and the distress you went through. You are fed up in your heart. You are bowed down in your heart. When your heart has been bowed down. I'm a person who mounted to a level. Too much isolated. And I felt like in the Kedua Wonyo. And it made me get used to it that even if someone had forsaken me, I would not be hurt. That one, I had gotten used to it. Praise the Lord. Why? When I got used to it, and then I get to know who is my savior. Who can love me? Who can be there for me? It's only Jesus that can be there for me. Clap to Jesus mightily if we are there. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage someone. If you have also been forsaken and you have gone through tough situations, praise the Lord. I was able to teach myself in primary. When this man took me to the secondary school in Chiboga, there were not issues of like I'm going to study for free. I had to dig acres of land or to plant sweet potatoes that I may be able to pay school fees. I used to study while digging so that I can be able to study. Let's go in our scripture today. We read Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. Be strengthened in your inner man. And he was saying I want to encourage a person here. But what I'm mindful about is how are you going to finish? The simple background Pastor Joshua gave it when he was here. Pastor Joshua, this was posed later to Ephesians. That is chapter 3. And it specifically talks about the mystery of Christ, which was revealed. And you'll find that in the second part of the chapter, emphasizes pray, prayer for the spiritual strength. And Paul was praying for the Ephesians that they be strengthened. Paul was asking God to give the Ephesians strength through his spirit. He desired for Christ to dwell in the hearts of the church by faith. His, his desire was for the church to know the depth of Christ's love that surpasses all knowledge. Praise the Lord. Paul was praying for the church that these people may be strengthened in their inner man and understand the love of God that surpasses human mind. But this is what challenges 
Kumunisa. And what surprises. Paulo wawandi kire baruen. By the time Paul writes this letter. Elanga sabira abefeso. And praying for the Ephesians. Katugamba sabira fe. Abali wolu alero. He's praying for we who are here today. Bible raga Paulo yali mubusibe. The Bible shows that Paul was in prison. Yali munjegere. He was chained. Yali asibidwa. He had been in prison. Gali mukome yali abarumi. He was in the prison of the Romans. Ere yali alindi do kubanga atwali bwa okubanga asali bwa musango. And he was waiting to be taken and be judged. Yalinga ba musibide mu nyumba. They had chained him from the house. Mukama yebaziwe. Praise the Lord. Nene wan kubadde yali musibe. But however much he was in prison. Paulo ne miyaka nga ino kulinde miyaka ebiri ngali mu miyaka ebiri gyali mu komeromo. In the two years that he spent in that prison. Yasobola kubate nga zamu amanye kanisa. He was able to instead encourage the church. Mukama yebaziwe. Praise the Lord. Jogera ku muntu nawe ngo inembera jo itamu. I'm talking about a person who has a situation oh, you're no, going This one was in prison. He would have been discouraged. He would have said that it's them to encourage him. But instead the prisoner. He was the one encouraging those who were free. Now this is what challenges. What is that we as the children of God. The church of today. And we have as an excuse. If a prisoner can encourage Then what can be our excuse In our generation That we cannot minister and serve God That we cannot bear fruit That we cannot endure situations. Praise the Lord. There are things that make us cry. But I want to encourage you. Even Paul went somewhere. He, went somewhere. Somewhere. he was in prison. He was in prison. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. And all mockery was made to him. But in all things, Paul said, there is nothing at all that will separate me from the love of God. The person who is here today, you have nothing at all that you can say that this will separate me from the Lord. No. Romans chapter 8. Listen to what Paul says. These are the words I want you also to say. That they will strengthen you and establish you as a child of God. 8 verse 35. Praise the Lord. These days, those days I had some I was preaching. And so many people had departed from God. And I got a, an opportunity to ask them. What has made you weary? What has made your hearts to bow low? Everyone had his own reasons. But brethren, what excuse can we give if we stood with Paul on the day of judgment? Paul said, Romans chapter 8 verse 35 he says who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword verse 36 as it is written for your sake we are killed all day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter and he says yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us praise the Lord he says what will separate me from the love of God you have to finish well having no excuse at all praise our Lord whether seeing sorrow whether being naked any situation that may confront us Paul encourages us and he says brethren in all things we, have, we are more than conquerors and this is what he says in the next verse. Verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities 
all the powers, all the things present, all the things to come, all the height, all the depth, all any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Say amen in the name of Jesus. Say a louder amen in the name of Jesus. Tell them there is nothing that is supposed to separate There is nothing that is supposed to discourage you. Praise the Lord. This even love dying. Amen. Praise the Lord. There is somewhere where it says that dying to me is profit. And to be alive is because of Christ. And so there is nothing that can separate me from the love of God. I want to finish well. I want to finish well. Likewise, in any situation, I am praying for you in the name of Jesus. Mind so much about the end. How are you going to finish? I have prayed for you as I pray for myself. And all of us shall finish well. Love to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know this man challenge. This man challenge. Paul. Paul. This one who is praying for the church. Oh no, Asabire Kanisa. She's in imprisonment. Today the church is boasting over what we have achieved. People are living salvation. People are for fainting Christ. People are becoming unfaithful because of good things. But such men they boasted in their afflictions. Let me repeat once again. These men rejoiced and boasted in their afflictions. They didn't boast in good things. No. That's why when I'm confronted by the situation, especially when I'm in the Lord, I don't fear any situation. What I mind about is how am I going to finish? Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us in the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 22 up to 23 I may not finish it all but Paul while going through the afflictions he instead boosted in those afflictions praise the Lord but not in, in joy no no. The, the afflictions he boosted in them and he said nothing is going to separate me Let's clap to God if we have the hands. Praise the Lord. What has he said? Let's begin with this one. Are they Hebrews? Are they Hebrews? Verse 22. Are they Hebrews? So I am. Are they Israelites? So I am. Are they seed of Abraham? So I am. Are they are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors more abundantly. In stripes. Stripes. Above measure. The stripes that was, were given to him were so many. In prisons. More frequently. In death. Often. Go and read that chapter and you will see. If it was being naked, if it was being stricken, if it was being alone, alone with the enemies, or being judged, he went through all that. Praise the Lord. But he says, I am not living Christ. This Paul, in all the things that he went through, I want to encourage you to finish well. I also want you to finish well. In the afflictions he went through, in all the troubles he went through, and he still prays the church, that it may be strengthened. There is somewhere he reaches and says, 
Brethren, I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith. I have reached. Is there anyone saying amen? He says I fought a good fight. How many are here today? And if the Lord is to call you today, you can say, I have fought a good fight. I have reached well. And I have kept the faith. That if he tells you today, there are so many things that attack us. And so many things make us to weep. But above all, how are you finishing? Timothy. Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse Paul, Paul says Amidst all that he went through Amidst all that he went through He says I have fought the good fight I have finished the race I have kept the faith What comes next? Finally there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge will give to me on that day and not to me only but also to all who have loved his appearing amidst all that he went through he finishes by saying I have fought a good fight Raise your hands. Say, O oh Lord. With a louder voice, say, O oh Jesus. Help me. Encourage me that I may finish well. Say, O oh Jesus. Help me that I finish well. Love to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. This man. Praying for the church to be strengthened in our inner man. There are reasons which I think we have also to, to consider in our days. Come Praise the Lord. I chose four things as I'm about to finish. The things that the Lord revealed to me that I want to summarize. One of them is what I'm talking about. How are you going to finish? How are you going to finish? I am praying for you that you'll have a good finishing. I'm going to choose a few things as I wind up. Some of the spears that want to alienate us from God. Some of the challenges in these last days. And the way we are supposed to confront them. And the way we can be strengthened. I want to lay emphasis on the matter of finishing. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8. Ecclesiastes 7, 8. The Bible says that the end of a matter is better than the beginning. The end of a matter is better than its beginning. I'm speaking to everyone who feels heavy laden. The main issue is finishing well. The end of a matter is better than its beginning. Problems and troubles will never end. The things that confront you will never cease. But the issue is how have you finished? The end of a matter is better than its beginning. Come to a level as well and speak like Paul that I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith. I have finished the race. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24 and verses 12 it talks about the weariness that is going to come because of sin. The Bible says that in the last days sin will increase and the love of many will grow cold. But the next verse the Bible says but those who will be patient and endure till the end 
Sija kunyo nyola chibi chiche chiba awo ebi muchibi muri mwe bintu binchi. I will not explain sin and what happens because there are so many things that come along with sin. Oja kuandi kati masewo echoku bire sule yoksat. You write Second Timothy chapter three. Ola be chiche chige no kuwa mo na kuzolu vanyuma. And see what is going to happen in the last days. Na kuzolu vanyuma. In the last days. Ebi de bio kulabe na ku. The the previous times. Ne chesi ngo kwe tagwa no musula. But what I want most here in chapter 24 of Matthew and verse 13, the Bible said, But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Whoever will endure till the end, amid the things that oppress us, amid the things that discourage us, amid the things that confront us, the Bible said that to whoever will endure till the end. Why Jesus comes, brethren, when you read well your Bible, why God loved this world, that he even gave his son, it was not to give us cars, neither was it to give us great houses, no. Look carefully at the scriptures. We know all that's all of the scriptures. The purpose of Jesus. The purpose of God. The purpose of our Father. For him to love us and give us his son. The Bible says that whoever believes in him. May not be destroyed. And what he was giving us. Says but rather we have eternal, eternal life. Now if you are doing everything. Amid is whatever you are going through. The intention Your goal should be one How am I going to finish I want you to be encouraged in your inner man I mean it's the situations you're going through The important thing is how are you finishing Say in the name of Jesus Some of the things that hurt us brethren So many of my brothers have talked about them The things that can take us of course There are spears that pierce us to discourage us. I've talked about the sorrow that I went through. You can call it number one. Number but number two. Some people said they are not this. But we are facing temptations. The doctor was talking about one of them last doctor time. Praise the Lord. Temptations, the battle between the flesh and, 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 the, and the spirit. No more, Amen. Amen. What do we have a There are those who say I'm perfected. Praise the Lord. Or you know, making a show and go marry is a bulunch. Or you know, kakasa that you finish well. Or the battle between the flesh and the spirit. Or you know, making a show and go marry is a bulunch. You have to make sure that whatever is in your life, a kagendo kuletro buta marry is a bulunch. That is going to stop you from finishing well you take it out of your life how many are with me and say amen praise the lord you know there is the time that we come to especially we ministers because we minister from the pulpit complacent and someone comes to a point when he is content that I am well off. But brethren, one thing I know about salvation, the Bible says, as I'm about to finish, Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, the Bible says, all of us sinned. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All of us we all got salvation. Theologians will help me, but what I know is that we are still in the journey of being transformed. How many say I am well off, I have reached? How many say I have no sin at all? That one I have overcome. One thing I know, we are in a journey of being transformed. I have a bottle here of water. It looks well on the outside. Praise the Lord. Probably we are all like like this. Before the sin came in, we were all looking good. Praise the Lord. 
But by the time we were born and ushered in the sin of Adam, I know you have ever seen this. Praise the Lord. After being born, we are born full of sin. We thank God for the grace. When we are saved, we are saved. We are given the right to become what God wants us to become. But being transformed fully. The Lord revealed to me this. Praise the Lord. I know you have ever seen it. I know you have ever seen it. The Lord revealed this to me. And he told me. There are so many people. They think they are well off. But the truth is. Praise our Lord. Praise our Lord brethren. Praise Jesus. The Bible shows. Those on the radio, we got a bottle of clean water and we poured soil in it. I need to be transformed. Praise the Lord. What I know in salvation, this is what we are. In salvation, the Bible says that we have all sinned and fell short of the glory of God. When we sinned, what happens? When we get saved, it's just that the other flower is far from me. Give me that flower. There is someone who says, me, I'm well off. I even don't need to pray. I don't need to cry for my soul. But what I know, the Bible says, that get hold of those young foxes who are disturbing our vines. If we want to be strengthened in this conference in our inner man, remember we want to finish well. I've talked about some of the burdens that we have, all the things that we have in our inner man. The sorrow that we grew in. Do not be discouraged. Be strong. Praise the Lord. We also went through all that. And we are still going through them. But they are not going to separate us from God. And secondly, the sin that is within us. The Lord revealed to me this. And he showed me that remember he's coming back for a spotless church without wrinkles if we were all so much righteous we would have already gone to heaven my father used to, come to make a prayer bishop before his demise and says oh lord when you see me perfect please take me meaning that he would also be in a journey of being transformed Amen. Amen. What matters are the percentages. Our change are in percentages. There are people who are born again. Amen. Amen. They are in church. But when they are still full, a hundred percent, they are still foreign. They are in church. There are others. Praise the Lord. You have just reduced a little bit. But the percentage is the percentage that has just reduced in matters of transformation. How much has this one changed, brethren? Percentage What is this percentage? Like a 25. Turn to your neighbor and ask them on which percentage are you. Praise the Lord. Another one maybe has changed. Maybe he has reached 75. Remember, we are praying to God that we may have a wealth. A Bible says we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Jesus wants to come back. 
Ulikuchukumi kuchukumi kati. I think Dr. Selmaga you now at 100. Mukama yeba zimwe. Praise Jesus. Omulenzo kubanga atuse wan. Another one might be there. Omulenzo kubadalanga alina kuchenda. Another one is about 90%. Pastor Bonnie ndoze kutocha ina muna akamu. Maybe Pastor Bonnie you still have nothing at Mukama all in you. Mukama kuwa May the Lord bless you. Mukama feba zimwe. Praise our Lord. Nanga abo luganda. Even me brethren. Mucheke vena ulikase. I still examine my soul. Mari Zantia. How am I going to finish? Weke vere. Examine yourself. Omutu wa wamunda. O ina man. O inzo kubango o imba. You could be singing. O inzo kubali muwereza wa amani. You could be a strong, a strong minister. Meka mkubuli ya banja wa wereza. But let me tell you, there are so many who are ministers, but yet they are thieves. Percentage of change. How are you finishing? Because when he comes back, he wants to find a church. You need a new person who has been transformed. This is the one that Jesus is going to take. Praise the Lord. The Bible says examine yourself and see whether you are still standing It's not about preaching here. No. Let me tell you. Each one of us, you know the state of your heart. How are you finishing? Let's clap to Jesus, mighty. As I wind up so that we can pray. Temptation is designed to come. Ebikemo will never cease. That's why we have our scripture. I think it's Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Guard your heart. Diligently. Guard your heart. Diligently. The other things that hurt us as I'm about to finish. Praise the Lord. Some people have just got a blessing and have forgotten God. I want to fetch on everyone. Even a blessing can take you. It can destroy you. In Deuteronomy where I will not read. Chapter 8 verse 10. Up to verse 18. God told the children of Israel. After reaching. You have, you have eaten to satiety. And you have done everything you are reaching. Never forget the Lord your God. Amen. Amen. Even the blessing that you have got. Sure. Kakasa. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 in the last days people will be lovers of self. People will be very proud. People will be so boastful. They don't love their friends. Praise the Lord. After someone has got a blessing but yet the spear that the enemy has used to see that he destroys you is the blessing that the Lord has given you. Praise the Lord. And it begins to make others inferior to you. You start to see yourself greater than those that you used to walk with. You see them from down. One time I found a man before I bought a car. He was my fellow minister. And he was my friend so much. And the Lord gave him a it was even an old car. And it was growing old every day. I had learned how to drive and I had my permit and I had spent with it for three years. I had an emergency. Praise the Lord. There's somewhere I wanted to go. And I, had, I was driving all the other people. This is my fellow minister. I will not tell him to you. And he's not of this place actually is even not here today. And I told him, my brother, help me with your car. Then he told me, Pastor Jude, Pastor Jude, if you don't have a car, we who have cars, we only give to those who have cars. 
that pierced me. I said, Lord, He has again reminded me of my orphanage. But this is what amazes me. Among the things that I've gone through, what I thank God for is this. When, I'm, when I, it's as if I've been forsaken, Mama ne tata nga when my father and my mother have forsaken me, the Lord is not going to forsake me. I draw closer to God instead. Praise Jesus and clap him him. Praise the Lord. He has got a car. And it is old. But now he sees he no long, he's no longer my class. But as God lives, He elevates you today. And then you begin to see others inferior to you. And those that you see inferior to you, times will come. He that raises the people and elevates them and they even praise Him. He is as well going to elevate in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage you. What you are today. If you, are, if you remain strong with God. Mind so much to see how your ending will be. What you are today. Is not what you are going to be tomorrow. There is nothing that should take you from God. Add Jesus a might hand clap. Praise our Lord. I want someone to be healed today as we are about to pray. Another thing that is in church today that we pray that God may help us through the spears that pierce us especially with the ministers who are this side is the spirit that we call omoyo go kutasa mchitiwa the spirit of betraying or treacherous spirit. Amen. I will not talk about so much. You will nurture someone. You will nurture someone. And then he will be very close to you. And he think he will be faithful to you. But yet tomorrow he is going to betray you. But I want to encourage you. Let all other men be liars. But God will never be a liar. Praise the Lord. I want us to pray. But the very last one. I had some people yesterday ministering is the spirit of judging accusation accusation this spirit of disloyalty it comes with another spirit of accusation the bible talks about satan as the greatest accuser the bible says i think in revelation chapter 12 the accuser of our brethren i'm winding up by encouraging someone they are going to accuse you many other things which are going to pierce your inner man. But do not be discouraged. Praise the Lord. This spirit of accusation, if you're not careful with it, this spirit of falsely accusing you, what is going to happen? It is going to bring bitterness in you. It is going to bring hatred in you. But remember the angel how can I take this person off course? How can I weaken his inner man that he may not finish well? The person that you have been with and you are trusting him he will come and falsely choose you and falsely choose you greatly praise the Lord the Bible says when I heard a loud voice saying in heaven that is Revelation 12 verse 10 now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God has come for the accused of our brethren who accused them before God day and the night has been cast down. The accuser 
Oyalopa. Yes, Stan. Is the devil. Is there anyone who has ever been falsely chosen? Have they ever chosen you? I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Let them not take you off course. Praise the Lord. However much what they have chosen you of is right. I know God is a God that endures us to the God that endures us to the new garment. I know it's God that endures us with the new garment. One day, priest Joshua was putting on filthy garments. Praise the Lord. I think it is Zachariah chapter 4. He was putting on a filthy garment. Chapter 3. You read verse 1 up to verse 5. The Bible shows when Joshua appeared before the Lord the accuser Satan also appeared and the things that was accusing him about were true because he was putting on filthy garments but God himself is the one that arose and rebuked Satan and told him that this one that you are trying to choose this one is a coal snatch from fire. Praise the Lord. They have accused you falsely. But however much they are true, God is clothing you with a new garment. I don't want you to be discouraged. Because what the accuser wants, what the accuser wants, he wants to spoil your reputation. It's after disgracing you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's after to generate hatred and the bitterness in you. It's after separating you from other people. It's after confusing you. It's after turning your friends into enemies. The accuser wants to control you. She wants to induce fear in you. And even weaken the ministry in you. But but don't be discouraged. Clap to Jesus, my Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want you to be encouraged. Above all, of all things that attack us, the situations that attack us, the accusations that are made against us, the temptations that we go through, the main aim is here. How am I going to finish? Search yourself. You encouraged or renewed in a man that your inner man may be renewed. Paul, Paul says, That's why we do not lose heart. Though our outer man perishes, let our inner man be renewed day by day. Praise the Lord. And he adds and says, When you read the next verse, verse 17, for our light affliction, which is just for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Verse 18, why do we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal wait you need eternal life brethren you need to finish well in all situations tell God help me to finish well Turn to your neighbor and tell them. Search yourself. And tell them be encouraged. Tell them God knows you. Be encouraged in your inner man. Paul. Paul who was in prison encouraged others who are not in prison 
He is the one that we are going to stand with on the day of judgment. Me amid the things I've gone through. Amid the things I'm going through. One thing that I'm aiming at. Lord, that I, how am I going to finish? You who knew me yesterday, today I'm a new creature. I'm in my journey today. I want to look like Jesus. I'm praying for you as well. That yearn so much that you may finish well. All the things that attack you do not be discouraged. Fight a good fight. Fight a good fight. Keep your faith and finish your race so that you may be given a crown in the name of Jesus. Let us stand up on our feet. We are going to pray. Raise your hands. Say, oh Lord, worship team, let's come on the pulpit. We are going to pray. Say, oh Jesus, you who is well of him may not lift your hands say oh Lord we are bad love let us lift our hands and so Jesus help me strengthen me in my inner man help me that I may finish well Help me that I may finish well, Lord. Help me that I may reach the end. Help me that I may overcome, Lord. Let it be your prayer today that the Lord may not pass by you. I know there are many things that are going to go through your life. My father used to make a prayer. Lord, when you see me worthy, take me. Today is no longer here. Just like he went, so will you. But how are you going to finish? The issue is not the many pulpits we have ministered on. Neither the riches that we have. Lord is seeking for what is in the heart. There is no treasure that we are going with. There is no fame that we are going with. It is not the so many pulpits that I minister on. But how am I going to finish? That's the main important thing. And that's why I cry to God that He may help me, that He may help us, that we may finish well. That's a song. Let's 
Daudi na saba na gamba Mujifecho kukwa mikono java antu Kangwa mu mikono jamu kama ya namanya Nafe tunja mu masoko mkale tutule luwaliru Tukwa mu mikono jamu kama Tukwa mu mikono jamu katonda yamba Tukwa mu mikono jamu wafe Tukwa mu mikono jamu mbi wafe Tukwa ze secha wandiki wechiri mu yeremi ya kumina munana Mwa yogereri yeremi ya nomu gambola mbomu mbi oyo Mbomu mbi ya chochakola Hacha sobolo kumenya natamu na chizimba Katonda yinsebi ntubyo na Tuakala kumariri sabulu nje mukama Njakala kumariri sabu chuti wa mukama Njakala kude waka mukama anga sikuwa Njakala kude waka kaba 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 Tata anga sika ni wa Tata yinsebi ntubyo na Tukwa mwemekono jonga wa weresa Tukwa mwemekono jonga wa yini Tukwa mwemekono jonga wa mulisi wengiri Tukwa mwemekono jonga wa napimu kama Tukwa mwemekono jomu kama Ngechi bina kama 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 tu kwa mwame kono jomu wa janjaba hawa kwa mwame kono jomu kama wa yambiwa hawa kwa mwame kono jomu kwa no kwa kwa batasiwa halikuruedi ya kwa mwame kono jomu kama halikushoshomidi ya kwa mwame kono jomu kama wali wakatonda cha kwa kasa wali wakatonda cha no nyamu kwe kama 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 yinsebi tu yona tu jizote mu kama hebi tuwe tolo denga bi mara muamani hebi tuwe tolo denga bi mara muamani hebi tuwe tolo denga bi mara muamani wali wakatonda Wali waba gamba tu wali waba njoke lako Wali waba gamba choye sasa wala musa nyuwa Na ye katonda yamba Mami kono jamu ya muli obu kumi Mami kono jamu ya muli obu yambi Mami kono jamu ya muli obu sasirwa Haba kwa mami kono jamu kama bama nilisa buronje Haba kwa mami kono jamu kama bama nilisa mchitriwa Haba kwa mami kono jamu kama bako maweka Hai katonda yinsebi tubyo na Mefe sobiri oru nyoro mwenda na yokera na gamba Na ye mwema Mchimanye, iti muli mkudia mkudia jange Muli mili moja mikono jange Tutu no tuse, he mili moja mikono jamu kama Tutu no tuse, he mili moja mikono jamu kama Ode mwoto mbe na jamu kama Mwe chochotu waka soku mera Ode mwoto mbe na jamu kama Tusabolo kumaliri sobolo nje Mose ya no yokera no gamba Ola bango musate mwa kwata kumikono jomu ana Nange mwecha wengwate mikono jaisira Yiri tuto na tuse muka moro kwa kirisa tuli kuanga yesi na yiri tu kuate kumi kono mukama tu kuate kumi kono tu kulembere sabo tu kuate kumi kono mukwana wa foto yambe tu yambe aya yuse bintu yona tu tuli na uwa la watu yinza kodo kera na wundi ya sabana gamba mukama tuzi ya komo yowo ya manye jama mukama. Omo yomo toko kwa mwezi Omo yomo toko kwa tu yamba Omo yomo toko kwa budabu demitima Omo yomo toko kwa lete mireme mofe Toko anirisa, toko anirisa, toko anirisa Jangu kama ni sanctify us once again Kama ni sanctify us once again Na ya some in the evil so king of glory That has been entangled in our life so long But this afternoon is my prayer Ntolo sana familia yangu, ntolo sana mchana wangu, ntolo sana bana bangu, tu yangu tu maliri sabulunge, tu tolo sana msumba, tu tolo sana msumba, tolo sa UCC, ai kaba 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 kwa, tu tolo sana tu maliri sabulunge mukama, tu tolo sana tu maliri sabulunge mukama, abamu kofa bade bata muri na mama na gomunda, tu yangu tu maliri sabulunge, tu yangu mukwa na kwa tu maliri sabulunge. Tuwe kumire nduru joli mukama Tuwe kumire nduru joli omu mumbi wafe Tuwe kumire nduru eri kwa mutonzi wafe Omu yambi wafe mkwano wafe Ye kwa votu yamba munange Ye kwa votu yamba munange Otu juze na te Otu yambe na te mukama Tubade tuko wede mulu bengo Tubade tuchasomu la kwe yongera yo But we have come to a source of empowerment Tuza mchu wangwe choku manirila Tuza mchu wangwe Mwe choku ambasiwa Mukama vino vye vino Vino vye vino mukama Yo 
Hold those two hands. Both hands. That person might be weak. Maybe the condition of sorrow or the situation of sorrow made his heart low. Maybe that person was pierced and the temptation threw him down and he no longer has strength in him. Satan pierced his inner man. Probably that person they have accused him many times and he feels that he has bitterness in his heart and they can no longer forgive and he or she needs someone to join with him or her hands and they pray together that they may finish well today you'll hear but tomorrow you're not here I request you're going to lift your voice to be heard by the heavens. I want only the keyboard to play. And let's raise our voices. Pray for your brother. Probably he cannot pray. Let your voice be heard. Pray for him or her just like the way you pray for yourself. Let it be your seed today. A seed that the Lord will look upon and say, yes, well. The day that you will cross over. That you will also appear worthy before you. For the Lord. Lord, hear our voices. Hear our crying, oh Lord. Pray for your brother or your sister. Pray for your sister. That the Lord will strengthen you. The journey is not easy. The journey is not easy. But the grace is available. The grace is available. Lord, hear our cry.
are those who are being delivered. We are those who are being delivered. Lord is renewing your life. The Lord is strengthening you again. The inner man is being strengthened. You're not going to fail. You will finish. The grace of God is available. Pray, pray, pray. Father, hear our prayer. Father, hear our cry. It is you that died for us on the cross, It is you that died for us, Lord. Father, we may inherit your kingdom. Father, we may reach in your glory. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. The Son of the living God. Continue to melt our hearts. Continue to melt our hearts. Continue to strengthen us, Lord. You want to finish well. Help that woman, Lord. Help that man, O oh God. That he may finish well, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Lord. Lord, you saved us for a reason. You saved us for a reason. That man that is weak. That man that is weak. That man that is weak. That woman that is weak. Open his soul. Today, Lord. Open. 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 Open, Lord. Open because you want to finish well. Lord, come us down. Let us pass down. That we may finish well. Some of us, honors are finishing us up. Some of us, honors are finishing us up. Some of us, blessings are finishing us up, Lord. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us that we finish well. We have fallen in your hands today, Lord. I want to finish well. Help my wife to finish well. Help my children to finish well. Help us as the church to finish well. Lord, you have given us the place. You are still on the bus. Lord. Help us to forgive. Help us to forgive, Lord.
I am Okama. Yeah. yeah. 